All right, this is an exclusive video that I have uh, for the Scorpion show. Um, I just got done watching um, the 20 minutes of you guys' debate. Uh, it was very interesting. Um, I watched you and Mikhail go at it uh, for a little while. And um, I have to be, uh, you know, I have to give my uh, props always to Beyonce. You know, regardless, you know, even though we might think that uh, we have a bias against Beyonce or something like that, um, I have to say that I personally do not believe that Beyonce is overexposed at all. Um, I think a lot of the times people try, it just seems like every time that she comes out with something, people try to jump on it and be like, okay, well, Beyonce, oh, we're just seeing too much, too much. But we fail to realize when other people come out with stuff, we don't realize that they're being overexposed too. Janet Jackson was overexposed when she came out with her stuff. A lot of other people are overexposed when they come out with their stuff. But every time Beyonce comes out, everybody wants to jump up and say, oh, Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. But if you guys don't want to hear Beyonce, how about you just put her to the side? Why does everybody have to listen to her? If y'all don't want to hear it, don't listen to it. But I think Beyonce has y'all under some kind of spell or something because I every time I, I turn around, somebody's talking about Beyonce. So I have to beg to differ with you, Scorpion. I'm going to have to agree with Mikkel on this that uh, I do not believe Beyonce is overexposed. And I do think she might need to fall back because every time I hear about it, uh, she always, uh, it always seems like she has to um, do something like she can't be any more creative. I thought B-Day was an excellent, excellent CD. Um, it, Resentment was a great song on there. She had a lot of songs which showed her range and, and she really did a great job and it. It was, a, it was an album that grew if you got both editions. I got the regular edition and the deluxe edition. So every album grew, it had a story to tell, and I thought it was an excellent, excellent CD. So yeah, I watched your debate, it was very great. I had to come at you with uh, just separate, uh, this is totally separate from my Deluxe David edition, yeah, I put a little plug in for it, my Deluxe Dave edition episode. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be talking about some stuff like this pretty soon on my show, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I have to stand up for Beyonce. And I'm always going to stand up for Beyonce. I might not be as a big a fan as Mikkel. He's a very big fan. I hope I'm saying his name right. But uh, I uh, I have to say that I cannot agree with you, Scorpion, on that issue of Beyonce being overexposed. And also, let me get to you on this real quick. Because Michelle Williams, I'm a big supporter of Michelle Williams. I just supported her in my last episode. I've been supporting her ever since they pushed back her album on August 7th. Um, from August 7th all the way to October, I've been a great supporter for Michelle, and I think she's doing a great job right now. I really think she's doing a good job. It hasn't got promoted as well, and I do think that she does need to leave that record label. I think that Kelly has more of a, fresh, as a family, they have a more family and a more knit together relationship with Beyonce, so I don't see her leaving anytime soon. But Kelly has done the damage to herself a lot of the time. If you watch the BET Awards, I think if she really wanted to perform, she should have performed by herself and not had Beyonce also perform. That was the best performance, though. That was a great performance, but she kind of like dimmed the whole performance down. That was her coming out time. That was her time to shine. That was Kelly's time to really say, okay, I'm here. I'm about to do this thing. And she did not do it that night. Beyonce stole the show. And if you're ever going to uh, have your first opening night where you're going to really shine at the BET Awards, I don't think you should do that. At, uh, with Beyonce as your opening act and then you come out afterwards, you're not going to compare, I'm sorry, I mean just you're not at of that caliber yet, you know Beyonce had her first solo album Kelly's first solo album didn't do that good, you know, she's doing better overseas, but Kelly puts, uh, she, she puts herself in those positions sometimes, I give Kelly her props every time, I support her stuff Miss Kelly was a great album I support it she might need to get some more style. Michelle did a good job of branching out the line. She's done a great job of branching out and doing different things. It might be time for Kelly take up something new and try to go a different avenue, maybe just a little bit different. Try to do something a little bit different. So there's no explanation for that. Also, one more thing I want to get on is y'all were starting to get on the thing about uh, Latoya and Latavia and all that different stuff right there and, and their group and stuff like that and how Beyonce might have been behind that or whatever or whatever and Matthew they made their own decision. I mean, Latoya and Latavia did whatever they wanted to do, you know, and I, I, my friend is in California and, you know, she talked to them before or whatever, we talked to Latoya before and, you know, and, and it's just like, she chose to do that. She chose to come out with her out, like, when, when they broke up, now she was talking about how Beyonce was trying to come out with her album at the same time as Latoya to bust her shine down. 
Victoria does not hold this much to Beyonce because Beyonce is a great. I mean, she's just good, y'all. I mean, you just have to give it to her. Beyonce is a great, great entertainer. So I had to come back with y'all and I had to get with y'all on this specific episode because it really, um, it was really something I had to get back with y'all on because y'all had a great debate. And I don't have anybody to talk with me. I'm kind of lonely. But hopefully I'll get somebody to talk to me soon so we can debate and I can get back with whoever wants to get with me on, on some of these issues. But yeah, I had to come with y'all. Special edition. Not even included in my DVD. But holla at y'all. I'll see y'all later. Keep doing what y'all do.